We're going to have uh, pizza, uh, pizza for lunch, cake. We're celebrating your, we're not only, we're not only celebrating the end of your uh, project with us, but also uh, your birthdays today. So today's a day of celebration. Do today again as we're going to have our speeches. And um, then we're going to, and my friend Alex is going to record those and I'll get you the YouTube number, etc. Then we're gonna have uh, pizza for lunch. We've got the photo books that uh, Mr. G's been taking all year long. He'll be here in a couple minutes. He's in a meeting, he's running late. And uh, then we've got some gifts for you celebrating everybody's birthday. So today's a good celebration day. One thing I'm gonna tell you is that we kind of had a meeting and we decided uh, that we weren't gonna try to judge you individually who had the most um, who came along the farthest, you know, I mentioned the $25 to go to Bush Gardens. Um, so what we're going to do is give you all $25 to go to Bush Gardens, okay? So no pressure today. Be a part of the group, and uh, hopefully you got as much out of it as I did. And think back to the lessons that we learned, the responsibility and those types of things. And if I could say one thing, remember good manners, take what you learn here, and remember the golden rule. Who remembers what the golden rule is? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Use your manners and treat people the way you want to be treated. And if you do that in life, it'll be all good. Congratulations, and it was fun being a part of the group. You know, this is, this is, this is a work and we do this with our spare time instead of playing golf or tennis. And it's, it's a lot of work putting the lessons together and putting the books together and the food and the field trips and all the planning that goes into it, and gifts and things like that. And I, Mr. Paul works his butt off. So I want everybody to stand up and give him a big hand of applause.
With, without him, it, this all wouldn't happen. So this, this is our big day. This, it's, uh, this is like Christmas morning for me. This is like, uh, this is my fifth or sixth year doing this with Mr. Paul. And uh, I look forward to this day and it's, it's special because we start out with you guys and we got shortened, we got shortcut a little bit this year because we couldn't come out to the school in January. So we, we had to cram the lessons into a shorter period of time and uh, we got everything done. Uh, what, we, what we missed out on, and I'm sorry for, is that in the beginning, what we, if we learned it, we learned more about each other. We talk about, we tell you more about us, we learn more about you, and, and we, had to, we, we had to cram a lot of things in. But th this day is special to me because we watch you guys where you were at in January and where you're at now, and you've come so far in, in standing up here and speaking and, and speaking loudly and and you know paying attention to what's what you're what you're speaking about and doing your programs and we're going you're all going to get that opportunity to come up here and uh as keith said we covered a lot of subjects um in in the in the lessons we learned about being trustworthy and respect having responsibility uh being fair and caring and uh all of those are good traits um the one the, the two things i thought about that we hadn't really, the words we haven't used, and I want you to think about that when you're up here, is I want you to, when you're up here, I want you to be proud and confident. And you won't believe how far that gets you. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about me real quickly. I made a living uh, selling great big machines that would fill up this whole room that cost millions of dollars. And I didn't get the benefit that you guys got out of this program. Nobody, when I was in fifth grade, I was timid and shy, and I had to learn to be proud and confident. And as, as I went through my career, the more proud and confident I was, the more successful I was. And the more successful I was, the more proud and confident I was. So if you take anything out of here today, just when you stand up here, speak like you're proud, look at everybody, speak with confidence, and carry that forward. And I guarantee you, you all will be very successful in your own lives. And then the last thing I want to say, and this just came up because some guys are talking, is when, when others are up here, I want everybody to have respect and listen. It's very important. God, that one of my favorite expressions is God gave you two ears and one mouth, so you should listen twice as much as you talk. And that's how you learn. You don't learn anything when you're talking. You learn when you listen. So with that, we're going to... Start you boys coming up here to uh, to give your your little speech. Thank you. I do that uh, how proud I am of all you guys. Uh, you know, like we said in January, we missed a whole month, and that month is really important because we get to know you better, and you get to know us better. You get to know what our backgrounds are, and um, where we come from, and that type of thing, and we try to find out more about you in that period of time. So uh, we apologize for not being able to do that, but you know, those things are out of our control. Does that have any volume in it? Got it, well, can you hear this voice? Okay, so you can use this. Uh, Jabari, I, uh, Jabari's gonna go first, but he's gonna give the uh, speech that he gave at the Minnesota Twins game that impressed the Minnesota people so much. So I wanted to get that and then he'll come back and do his other and then we'll start at the back. <laughs> you got this? You got this? Can I go second? Sure. Okay. All right. You want to come up? You ready to go? Okay. All right. Said you to <laughs> Hello, my name is Kevin Quintero, and I'm here to talk about my Lexington Mentor experience. I learned that no matter how good you think you are, there is always room for improvement. Also, when you're at a place you feel like you belong, you get to enjoy yourself. Additionally, I gained an understanding of kindness is a way to go. From, co from the COVID quarantine experience, I realized I prefer online classes because I would finish all my assignments in a real short time. While at school, I have, while at school, I have to spend the full day to do it. Thank you for listening to my speech. Good job, Kevin. Hello. Wait, is this on? 
Yeah, it's actually. All right. Hello. My name is Javari Paul, and I'll be talking about two things today, but the first thing I'll be talking about is my speech at the Minnesota Twins Stadium because the Lexington mentors very liked it. And my speech was pretty much in a summary that you shouldn't judge people because of how they look or who they are, or you shouldn't judge people at all. You should just be nice to everybody. And that was my speech in the summary. It's, yeah, you should, um, yeah. Uh, You're good, buddy. Yeah. All right, I'll go to my um, second speech to what I had to do for this time. And I said, I learned a lot of things from Lexington Country Club. I'm going to try to be open-minded and listen to other people's ideas, because usually I wouldn't do that. And Lexington stop. I usually I would just stick with my idea and ignore everybody else's mind. I learned that that's not the real way to go, and that that won't get me very far in life. Like this has also taught me a lot of other things and valuable lessons that I that could go with me for the rest of my life. And I just want to thank all the Lexington Bad Touch for that. Oh, good job. Good job. Uh, my name is Damaris Paul O and I like playing sports like football and basketball. And what this place taught me is how to be respectful and do what I am told to do. And what I changed is I'm now helping out at home and I'm starting to listen to my parents. And I need to work on my schoolwork so that I can pass all my grades. And when I was in third grade, I had Fell, but the next year I had passed and this made me realize how important it is to do the work in class so that I can pass all my grades and and be anything when I, when I grow up. And what I want to be when I grow up is, is a football player or a basketball player or work at a car dealership with my friend Jaya. Good job, buddy. <laughs> let's try. Uh, let's try without the stool. See, but let's take the stool off for a minute. How's that? Okay. That better. Jones and I'm here to talk about why Lexington that's our experience and I have learned to practice having manners and learn how to speak in front of a crowd and how to be a gentleman and learn how to be respectful and I need to be better better at um, listening to my mom because sometimes I don't listen to her that much. Good job, mate. Um, my name is Jill Suarez, and I'm um, 11. Um, my name is Jill Suarez, and I'm 11, and I need, and I have a sister, and I can drive a car, and I, and my favorite car is an old school 19. 45 Ferrari and I have a, I have two grandmas and my family is a, is from Cuba and I, and when I am a, 
when I'm an adult, I want to drive a Ford TV. I want to drive a truck, and I want to own a dealership and fix cars. Good job, buddy. Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm in the fifth grade in Harsh Marshall Elementary School. My film subject is black. Um, my film color is blue, and I'm saving up for college to study math. I love football, soccer, baseball, volleyball, lacrosse. It was invented by American Indians. Um, I love my family and I've been helping my family out in at, in at school. I'm helping homeless people keep the money to buy food. That's what my father seems to help me out. Thank you, Good job. Today I'm going to talk to the Bible from the Lexington Company and help you with spirits. You got me. Come on, you got this. Pick it up. Somebody else come on up. Is that table done yet? No. <laughs> um, hello, my name is Gabriel Hernandez. I'm from Hearst. Um, I am from Fort Myers, and I'm in fifth grade from Hearst Marsh Elementary School. My favorite teacher is Miss Hawkins because she is learning lots of fun. My favorite sport is soccer. Soccer. My favorite subject is math. Um, today I'm going to tell you a story. Well, not really a story, but I probably seem to change my life. Back then, in second and third grade, I was a bad kid. And then a few years later, in fifth grade, I was chosen by my teacher, Ms. Watkins, because that, because she that I could be, become a leader and all of us can be a, a great, great leader. Um, can be a leader to be um, to great, be great people. Um, one day when we went to Mexico, the first trip was amazing. And all the other trips, we started to learn more and more things. Lexington is not ready to have fun, or well, maybe just a little bit. It is to learn so that we can become great people. And Lexington has changed my life to make me a great person. And I thank Mr. Paul. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Bob. Well, I think it's been talking to you. You taught me how to be brave, respectful, and uh, I, used to, I used to disrespect my mom, and now I respect her. Uh, and also taught me to, to respect, because when I grow up, I want to be in the Army to protect my family and the country. So, and respect on my to respect the sergeant. Yeah, 
Hello, my name is Dominic Castillo. I'm a fifth grade student from Hunt Marshall Elementary in Maine. Lexington has taught me more than one thing that nobody's perfect no matter how great you think you are. And my parents have also taught me that I'm not going to change anything no matter what about me. And I just wanted to thank Mr. Paul for being so kind and bringing me into the Lexington Adventure Club. Good job. My name is David Rodriguez, and <laughs> and I have, and I've been having a great time here. I moved here about a year ago, and I did not know something like this would be happening to me in only about a year. I never knew. I was uh, when I when I before I moved. Here in Fort Myers, I I was very emotional. <laughs> I was a very emotional person. And when I moved here, I was even more, because I had no friends and I had nobody to talk to. Well, eventually, now I have friends, but I feel like this club helped me understand people more. And it taught me to respect people, and just create long-lasting friendships that I could be happy about. I, I'm glad I'm here, and yeah, thanks for uh, listening to the speech. Okay. Good job. Hi, my name is Blaze, and I am taking notes. Um, I am happy that I got to to Lexington, it was a very, uh, it was very good, and I am happy that Mr. Paul brought me here, and I have learned a lot. Good job, buddy. My name is Noah Joe. I'm 10 years old, I'm in fifth grade at Hans Marshall Elementary School. My favorite subject is math because my father is really good at math. I learned a lot of stuff in Lexington, but but some of the stuff I learned is public speaking. I learned more about golf, baseball and at the bus depot buses. I have a lot to be glad for in that team. But with that, I just say thank you to all the mentors. Hello, my name is Aaron, and I learned from my next ten mentors that, that I get them Learn a bunch of things that are fun and also learn get, get to know mo more people. I learned to, to speak up to uh, uh, to speak up front. Now I know how to now I now I know because I used to be scared of speaking in front of other people. Like this Lexington Lexington helped me speak up to the front of other people. And I want to thank Mr. I Paul. Mr. Paul for letting me join this Lexington. And thank you all for hearing my speech. Hello, my name is Ron Martin. I'm 11 years old. My favorite game is Fortnite. Oh my. And I want what I what I learned in nursing is to care for your family and your friends and not to disrespect everyone else. And um because if someone is if someone if someone's grandfather or anyone else passed away, they'll be sad and I can help them because a few 
because last year my grandfather passed away and it was very sad. But now I know if someone's going through a heart, I know what they're going through. Good job, buddy. Hello, my name is Mario Kulam, and I'm a student at Hans Marsh Elementary, and I'm going to tell you all the stuff I learned in Lexington Elementary Club. One thing I learned is to show respect not only to my family, but to everyone I meet. Another thing I learned is sharing, and uh, now that I started sharing with other people, they share with me, and now we have a better relationship. Thank you. That's all. Thank you for listening. My name is Abnowski. Um, the hardest I've learned in Austin was how to be kind, um, respect others, and um, yeah. so, so I'm going through something, um, not to loud, and I'd like to thank um, Mr. Paul and the other uh, mentors for helping me, helping me with this um, lesson in club. Um, thank you for. Um, Good job. You can swing that mic. Okay. Hello, my name is Alexander Martinez. What I will be talking about today is how I have learned to be fair to other others. What fairness means to me is to play by the rules and not cheat. Next is to let other people play. Game, the game that they want to play and not act like I'm the boss of them. Big story. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Brendan, and today I'm going to tell you everything I learned at Lexington. <laughs> First thing I learned was was to stop moving. I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds weird, but I, uh, I have a habit of getting very hyper very quickly. And when that happens, I can get out of control. Another thing I learned is to not throw chips at people on the bus. <laughs> How surprising. Okay. Uh, another thing I learned was to improve my behavior in general. While I was here, I realized that my behavior is not the best. Matter of fact, it's not very good at all. But Lexington helped me improve that. Uh, I also learned. <laughs> uh, Lexington has taught me to be confident. Uh, when I did my first speech, I was very anxious. Uh, I didn't, I didn't believe I could do it. And while I'm talking, I still can't believe I can, I can't do it. But it has improved. Uh, uh, before, before. Before I go back to my seat, I would like to say thank you to every mentor here for teaching me, for teaching me, and I would also like to thank every student here for giving me one of the best fifth grade experiences. Great job. Yeah. Did you bully? Yeah, you were. Boy. Got it. Oh, I'm telling you, a fifth grader in Harms Marsh Elementary. The things I learned in Lexington is to be open-minded to people and um, how to talk in public. My heart is going to be so fun. Okay. Uh, the way I became more open-minded, I think. Wait. Um, Why you're I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's good, Val. Um, to the mentors and Lexington Country Club. I told you hey, hey, something. Hey, hey. Hi, my name is Sosme, and what I learned here is that you know, no one is perfect, and you should always have self respect to everybody and other people. And it has been great to be in this club, and I'm happy to be in here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. 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 We go open. <laughs> My name is Anthony Ramirez. I am a student in Horse March. What I think I learned in this Lexington Merchant Club is being a better person, a helper, being the best person I can be, um, um, speaking in front of everybody, and I would always be a respectful young man. Good job. Hi, my name is Isaiah and Antizana, and I'm in the fifth grade student and I am my school is Harsh Marsh Elementary and I like to play baseball and and they inspired me to help they they helped me speak in front of everyone and they inspired me to help people. Good job Bella. Hello um uh, I'm back again because the first time I was here I was not ready for time. But today, I'm just gonna. Well, well, you saw me the first time. That never happened. So this is my first time coming up here, and today I want to talk about that. Um. Okay. So, our right, change in the book. All right. Hello, guys. This is my first time coming up here. My name is Jabari Paul. And I live in Lehigh Acres, and I come from uh, Hard to Marsh Elementary. And today I'll be telling all of the lectures of all of the things I learned, because I've not told you yet. I learned how to be open-minded, because usually I'll just ignore people and have my own ideas. But Lexington's just told me how to be open-minded so much more. And I'm so thankful to all the mentors and everybody, and my teacher, and all the people who have contributed to let me come to this great experience. My life has been pretty boring and bland, just playing games, sleeping, eating, friends, not much. But Lexington gave a little spice to my life, and it's been a lot better of an experience, and I really have a lot of fun here, and it's really educational, and these lessons will stick with me my entire life. And I just want to say thank you to everybody for listening to my speech, including to my family. Uh, hello again. Um, when I was talking about my teacher, it was an honor. If it wasn't for Mr. Paul, Miss Kane, Miss Watkins, if I was not chosen, I would never be. I would never learn all this stuff. So I thank all the mentors for bringing me. So it's an honor to be here, and I um, and I hope all of us boys become a great, great people. But he's never been here before. Hello, my name is Emmanuel Nipos. I'm 10 years old at Horns Marsh Elementary in the fifth grade. The things that Lexington Mentor Club taught me was important lessons and how to be open minded. I would love to say thank you to every mentor in Mentor in Lexington Country Club. And this is my first time doing this. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs>